As we get older, pop culture seems to have less and less of a psychological effect on us. Sure, we can watch and enjoy TV shows and movies, but it just doesn't feel as real anymore. We know we're in a separate world from the one portrayed on the screen, all of which is just the imagination of some hotshot director out there. When I was a kid, though, television, and especially movies, were a window into another universe, every bit as vivid as the one I inhabited. At the wee age of four, I was exposed to a film so terrifying, I'm still not entirely sure I have the same pair of eyeballs. It scarred me brutally, haunting my nightmares for years, popping into my head at the most inopportune time, and sometimes turning my nerves to jello. I'm sure by now many of you know exactly which film I mean. That's right. I'm talking about The Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, I do not know what prompted my parents to allow me to watch such a clearly age-inappropriate movie. Perhaps they felt I needed a little toughening up. Perhaps this was to be my punishment for some sort of awful mischief I had committed. Had I touched the newspaper stack one too many times? Was my sense of humor, annoying even then, too much for them to bear? Had I painted the entire house chartreuse in a particularly acute sugar rush? Actually, on second thought, I'm pretty sure I would have remembered that one. Regardless of the reason, though, the effect was stunning. I sat down on the sofa and began to watch. At first, it was exactly what I expected. Oh, look, a singing crab. How delightful. Oh, if only Triton could see that Ariel deserved, needed more freedom. What is that? For the first time, I just seen that face. The face that would become the main character in nearly all my nightmares from then on. <laughs> the face that seemed to search my very soul, probing it for any weaknesses that could be exploited. This was the face of Ursula. <laughs> her eyes, carrying too much makeup and seemingly fixed in an endless scowl. Her voice, much too low, with a tone that seemed to say to me, Tyler Patterson, you poor unfortunate soul. I'm going to murder you. <laughs> I immediately made the judgment that she was not cut from the same mold as TV villains I had heretofore seen. Three chance of Ursula, no Ursula, would likely be insufficient to halt her considerable ambitions. I fear it was only a matter of time until those ambitions included my imminent doom. I thought it would take some solace in the fact that she was an octopus and therefore could not possibly reach me on land. But then she turned into a human and climbed onto a boat. <laughs> I believe this was the point at which my jaw made a dent in the floor. I bolted in the direction of my room, where upon my entrance, I immediately began to regret my cowardice. I always considered myself to be a pretty masculine toddler. <laughs> and while this film was clearly not meant for children, it still afforded me a chance to prove my considerable machismo. <laughs> I said to myself, Tyler, this will probably go down as the scariest thing you ever did in your life. It won't be easy, but this is the kind of thing they put in the textbooks under acts of extreme bravery. There's only one option if you want to prove that you're truly a man, and that is to go out there and finish that Disney princess movie. <laughs> Having thus riled myself up, I went down the stairs triumphant and ordered the resumption of the film. I'm back up there within like five minutes. <laughs> I read nothing. <laughs> As I ran away that second time, it seemed that so too had my manliness. Could I truly consider myself to be a man or even a big boy? After this shocking lapse in courage, my psyche quickly began to break down, and I became one of the weird kids whose prodigious level of so social awkwardness was practically a marketable skill. Years pass though, and as I said, time heals all wounds. I am now very nearly a normal, well-adjusted high school student. And hey, at least some good has come of this. Scary movies don't really bother me anymore, because, in my mind at least, I've already seen by far the worst. Thank <laughs> you.